TV Recap is here. I'm going to talk about Dark Spell, a horror, fantasy, and drama movie today. Here are some spoilers. Take care and be careful. Jenya styles a wedding dress for Sonia, who is looking forward to her big day. Jenya replies that she hasn't had a wedding when she is asked about it. Victor, Sonia's fiancé, penetrates despite warnings that it is bad luck. Polina, Jenya's daughter, starts to fuss in her stroller. But Victor offers to take care of her so Jenya can work on the dress. Victor is practicing to become a father in Sonia's eyes. Zania cares for Paulina that evening while attempting to contact her partner. Jenya goes to the studio when he doesn't answer her calls, only to find him with another woman there. Jenya immediately leaves and Kier, her partner, yells at her for going there. The following day, Jenya can't resist the urge to sob over what occurred. Jenya tells what happened because her co-worker Kate noticed while she was at work. Kier will love her more if she presents as if nothing happened, according to Kate's advice. Jenny cries once more when she returns home to Kier's drawings of his other woman. Since she can't get Kier to stay with her, her mother, who is watching the baby, tells her to stop torturing herself. Polina's mother insists that she cannot force Kier to love her again unless she casts the spell on him, despite Jenny's sadness at the thought of Pollen growing up without a father. Zenia will soon drop off Kier's belongings at his parents' house because he has been ignoring her calls. Alina, Kier's mother, smugly suggests that Jenny ought to always be aware of Kier's whereabouts and who he is with. Later, Kier is finally caught leaving his studio by Zenia, continually attempting to salvage the relationship. Jenya lets him see other women, but Kier says he doesn't want to be with her anymore and that she doesn't own him because he made her pregnant. Incensed, Jenya hits Kier, however he pushes her off. In the wake of cleaning his horrendous nose with a hanky, he tosses it at Jenny and leaves. Jenny then takes the blood-stained handkerchief as a last resort. Jenny sees Aza, a gypsy, that evening. Zenya nods in agreement when Aza asks Jenny if she wants to be with Kier forever while they are carving meat. Aza emphasizes that Jenny needs to find someone with a strong love who is getting married. She warns Jenny not to fool the spirits as she arranges a few materials. She tells her how to perform at a wedding in a church, but she warns her that the spirits won't forgive her if she and Kier fake their love. Aza slits Jenna's palm abruptly and places a piece of raw meat in her hand. She informs her that even though her blood will make the spell stronger, she must still cast it until the meat spoils. Scared, Jenya snatches different materials and surges out. For Sonia's wedding, guests arrive at a church days later. Sonia is not pleased to see a leg among them. While the wedding starts, Jenny slips into the congregation upper room and starts the spell, joining two candles as she opportunity to tie herself and Kier for eternity. She then burns the handkerchief containing Kier's blood to complete the spell by putting her own blood in it. She tries not to spit out a piece of the rotten, raw meat and eats it. Jenny dashes out of the church while the guests cheer for the newlyweds and collapses in front of them. Sonia waits at the hospital later. Oleg rushes Zenya there and then joins her. She cries on his shoulders, thinking the thing happened by accident. Zenya, on the other hand, awakens on the hospital bed as Victor, a doctor, examines her. Zenya demands returning home, however Victor declines since they need to notice her condition until tomorrow. Victor simply tells Zenya to rest after she apologizes for disrupting their wedding. Victor hears moaning coming from the supply closet as he is leaving and he finds Sonia having an affair with Oleg. That evening, Jenny awakens to the sudden opening of the window. She closes it, but the windowsill is covered in mud. When she turns around, Kira is there, and she finally asks for forgiveness. Zenya accepts him after realizing that the spell worked, and the two of them sneak out of the hospital to fall in love in his studio. The following morning, Jen is drawn to Kira by her beauty, and he orders her to stand by the light while he draws her. Jenny is delighted by the attention she is receiving and she smiles. Later, Kiara and Jenny travel to her mother's house, where a window was shattered last night during the storm. While Jenny invites her mother to stay with them until the window is fixed, Kiara quietly boards up the window. Kiara informs her mother that she would annoy them if she moved in, so she declines Jenny's offer when Jenny leaves to get Polina. Jenny is sculpted by Kiara one day, but he has trouble getting her features right because she is flawless in real life. Jenya says she has to go to work, but Kerr says work keeps her busy. Belina begins to weep as he applies plaster to her face in an effort to form a mold. 
Kira removes Paulina's stroller because Jenia is unable to see or move, and the crime soon stops. He then, at that point, takes care of the sheet over Jenia's body 